Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over uh, the reworks that were uh, announced yesterday. Um, I already shared my opinions with some of my friends and other things and uh, I'd like to go over some very basic overview of what uh, what happened in Season 6 uh, that was announced yesterday. Now, not everything that I know of was announced yesterday, but most of the things in Season 6 were announced yesterday. Here's the list. We have confirmation that we will eventually get custom games uh, on dedicated servers. We get a new map. We get a new visual system. And we get the two reworked characters, Peacekeeper and Orochi. Now, I'll be going over uh, the reworks in this video. Uh, being Peacekeeper and Orochi. Now, uh, if we just play the video real quick, you can notice that, yeah, Peacekeeper can saw Fane out of her last heavy now. But uh, as you see her attacking, you'll notice one other, th uh, two other things as well. Her average damage is very heavily nerfed to what it was, and she can stack bleed. Now, uh, that may sound like not the best rework, but it actually is. Her damage is significantly uh, nerfed. They used to her heavies used to do 30. Now they're doing, as you can see, 25 and 20, as well as her dodge heavies. I believe do 15. I could be wrong though. And her lights are doing significantly a lot less. Her uh, soft faint from her last heavy now can uh, can now be done. As well as, yeah, see, Dodge Heavy did 15. As well as, she could now use her Bleeding Dagger Saw Faint effectively. It used to be you would uh, do it from the same direction uh, that you Saw Faint it. But the problem with that was it had the same timing for parry, and it did almost less damage. So there was practically no point to using it at all. Uh... And since it always had to be from the same direction, there was no mix-up potential in that. Now, it always happens from the top instead of from the same direction. So now uh, that Sawfane is actually useful. And since she can also do it from her last heavy, she has some mix-up potential from that as well. Uh, so mostly you'll be seeing a lot of top bleeding lights from Peacekeeper now. As well as... Uh, she can also do it from her zone as well, so eventually they show her using a zone. Uh, she can basically do the bleeding light from the second attack of her zone. So you have the insanely fast attack of her zone, which got nerfed in damage. A, eh? Not that much, but enough to significantly somewhat impact her. Uh, so... Basically, the full she'll get the full use out of her zone. She'll either let it go through, do the bleeding light, or actually just faint it, which is a pretty good mix-up from her zone. Half her stamina for something worthwhile. Uh, yeah. She also stacks. Yeah, the stacking bleed is going to be a problem with sharpened blade, and also with uh, shaman, but it's there. I don't know why it wasn't before. Here's the thing. Sharpened Blade is its own problem, but I don't understand why Stacking Bleed isn't a thing for all the characters, and why they just thought to include it on Peacekeeper. It's honestly very strange, but I'm glad they finally added it, because it does make a bit more sense. It's just delayed damage yet for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Bleed is a very, uh, very weird mechanic. I don't know why it's like this and why they just decided to make it for peacekeeper but it's there peacekeeper i'm overall happy with peacekeeper's nerf uh everything i suggested in my video was literally implemented in peacekeeper her last heavy is useful her bleeding stab is useful all of her attack damage was nerfed her her zone isn't any less fast as it is now but it got damage out of it and the second hit of the zone was also made useful as well which is a plus 
Overall, Peacekeeper is now a good character, but is now not too good. I'm appreciative of this. And, yeah. Now let's uh, s scroll the video until we find the Orochi part. Because I'm trying to find the Orochi part. <laughs> ah, the Orochi. Orochi! I love Orochi's rework the best. Out of the two. Because Orochi... It, basically, his side lights were slow, his top light was all he relied on, and his zone. And his zone wasn't even all that fast compared to Peacekeeper and Berserker's lights. It just, it was child's play. Na and also, since they nerfed the top light damage, Orochi, uh, people from Orochi moved over to Shinobi because, hey, at least it's omnidirectional. And the devs highly noticed this, and they knew when the rework was coming... Uh, that there would always there would be a gap in when Orochi would be near useless, and they even said that on the stream itself. But as you can see here, you can change direction of your rushing wind to any three directions, and this is actually one of the best. <laughs> it's actually really good. So instead of highly choreographing whether it comes from left or right, you do it from one direction, and you can tell it to either come from left, right, or top. And as they mentioned later in this video, uh, or stream, they said that the top one has the undodgeable property. So when you go to do dodge lights, it will, um, it, or when you go to do dodge moves or dodge lights or anything that requires a dodge, it will track if he does it from the top. So you can't just roll out of this. It is going to track you. As well as animation itself is pretty slick as well. Like, that animation is just very, very sexy. I love it. Um, his heavy damage appears to be the same. Which isn't that bad. And you could also just hard feign it as normal because it is a heavy attack. Now, as I uh, will also mention, the, uh, yeah, the lights have a significant speed boost. As well as, there's uh, another property to the lights I'm going to mention later on. But yeah, the lights are extremely fast. So now they're useful. And Orochi has enough combos that you can basically have... It's basically the Kensei mix-up where anything goes in that combo. You can do a light-heavy. You can do a light-light-heavy. You can do um, you can do a light-light-light. You can do a heavy-heavy. I'm not sure about a heavy-light-light, though. I'm pretty sure that's in there, but... Don't quote me on that. And this is Riptide Strike now. Riptide Strike is now a light, but it's insanely fast and it actually dodges really far back. Uh, and it's a light that does 22 damage. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, And it can go straight into the combo where uh, Orochi's lights come in. When I say Orochi's lights are fast, they're actually all 400 milliseconds. So, And since he has the mix-up of doing heavies as well, don't parry Orochi lights. Because <laughs> that now has the potential to uh, be like Zerk without hyper armor. Except only for three moves. With a minor con uh, fine print that you'd normally see in a contract or something like that, Orochi doesn't have an infinite chain. But he does at the same time. Orochi can now, as they will explain later, can dodge out of the recovery of his last attack to uh, basically keep the pressure going infinitely. This is extremely useful in situations where Orochi would get revenge and when uh, your opponent would go out of stamina. Basically, now Orochi can uh, completely harass the enemy when they are out of stamina and when he has revenge. And then there's also the point where, like, hey, you try to parry someone while he, uh, parry the Orochi while he's in revenge, guard break, out of stamina punish, beautiful. Overall, I love what Orochi is now. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep talking until they get to the part where you see the pseudo-infinite kind of, uh, pseudo-infinite chain with Orochi that isn't guaranteed. I know when you guys are going to be triggered when I say it's pseudo if I mean, he can infinitely chain, but it's not guaranteed like some moves. Um, yeah. 
I really like the mix-up potential within Orochi. And I kind of wonder what made them think about the original character. Because the original was not anything good and didn't have anything going for it. Meanwhile, this character seems to have lots of potential. And I like where the game's going so far, though. This, some of this should have been in the game at launch. Because, again, you had someone like Peacekeeper that they literally did not touch. Did not even touch till Season 6. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad that they finally did do something to her. But I'm disappointed it took six seasons and a year and two months. Now, if we back, uh, back up a bit, you'll see that Orochi dodges to immediately recover and can keep the pressure going. And then you could also bring this into your rushing wind and keep on going. And then you could also do Riptide Strike as well. It's just going to be amazing. Basically, as soon as Orochi gets revenge or you're out of stamina, he's going to be doing something like this and completely keeping you on your toes. And since heavies aren't uh, interrupted either, he can tell when you're probably going to block one attack and then just keep on going from that mix-up. And it's just... <laughs> it's It just looks so amazing. I love what they did with this rework. It could it have been better? I don't think so. Uh, some people uh, address the problem of why were Peacekeeper and Orochi not given unblockables? These characters are not made for unblockables, I should say. Assassins are meant to be fast, agile, and not reliant on brute force, necessarily. Berserker is the only exception to this. Because, like, notice how they have no form of real melee to this. See, Berserker relies on taking hits, hitting you extremely hard, while also hitting you fast uh, in mix-ups. Hitting hard, then hitting fast, hitting hard, then hitting fast, hitting hard, then hitting fast, then hitting hard, 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 fast, whatever. That's Berserker. Gladiator, who also some of you might have complained about being unblockable, he has a buckle made specifically for hitting people as a melee attack. So, saying that assassins should have unblockables, no. They need to move away from the fact that some characters have unblockables and some don't. Orochi and Peacekeeper in this rework are perfect examples of that. And I'm and I'm really happy that they've done it. If you guys did agree with my opinions and did like me going over these reworks, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see all you dudes in the next video, which will hopefully have Orochi in it.